Well, hello, you glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to track down the infamous serial killer. We're going to show exactly where to find the three murder scenes. We're going to collect all three maps, and we're going to hunt this son of a bitch down. I hope you guys are all excited. Thank you so much for your support on the Red Dead Redemption 2 series so far, and I cannot wait to play with some of you during Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Super excited about that, and hopefully we should be getting it towards the end of November. There is a lot of information, and I probably will be putting in everything we know about Red Dead Redemption 2 Online video out soon, but right now we are heading to the first murder scene location to collect the first map. Now, if you don't know exactly where this is, we're going to go ahead and drop a marker right around here, and we're going to locate the first murder scene uh, within here. We'll show you exactly where it is. We have arrived at the first location. Now when you first yep. find this, you'll probably see a little blip on the map, just like we did for an NPC. And even though we actually don't see anybody move, it's a little interesting that we do get that alert. But this is the first murder scene. Behold. We've got a guy hanging from a tree here, completely disemboweled, cut in half. No head. It's pretty darn creepy probably one of the creepiest things in the game there's actually quite a few creepy things in this game believe it or not and right behind the tree we've got a severed head with a map in it great i don't know what you did to deserve this Ugh. wham bam thank you ma'am we've got our first piece of the map we got two more to hunt. The second location is just south of Valentine. And if you zoom in right on this little bit of the tra uh, railroad tracks and drop a marker there, you're going to literally come right up to it. Can't miss it. It's where there's some bridges across. There's bridges across. Words are good. Anyways, we got another beheaded and gutted person with yet another head here. Oh, this is... Oh, there's a knife in this one's eye. Oh, that's creepy. Well, I guess we ought to pull this map out of there. Uh, Come on, buddy. Through the eye, too. Oh, 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 no, it just it. fell off. Oh, that's terrible. All right, so we're getting a little bit of an idea of where this guy is. We got the Killer Clue 2 piece. And we need to find one more. Is there anything on the back? Oh, you! F I think it's gonna say you find me, or you you should find me, or you can find me. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So this is pretty cool. There's a lot of really, really creepy things in this game. There's the the ghost in the bayou. There's the night folk in the bayou are creepy enough, let alone a freaking ghost roaming around. And there's quite a few stages to that ghost, although it's kind of difficult to get all of them. And there's like three stages within the stages, but you only get each of them one time. So it's pretty interesting. I'm actually working on recording all of that right now, uh, but it takes a couple days in between each interaction. And it's, it's really cool. So keep an eye out for that on the channel. But obviously we'll be trying to murderize all the night folk here as well. There's a couple of different interaction with them as well as being able to take them all down. So keep an eye out for a lot of these little things inside of Red Dead Redemption that are just amazingly cool details that really flesh out this amazing world. But we're heading to the next clue, which if we open our map, is all the way here just southwest of Wallace Station. And we're gonna search around here for it, but it should be in this general area. Oh man, look at all those birds. So when you're looking for these locations, just make sure to keep an eye out on your mini map for a little blip on your map, but this exact spot is right here. So drop a point right there, literally just south of the Wallace Station, and we're gonna find another murderized person. Do you see all the blood and gore? Now you can even cut these guys down. Well, you can shoot the ropes down. Well, this guy's head on a rock here. These poor people. Had a pretty bad day. Almost as bad as when I got goaded in the Butcher's Creek. Oh god, I didn't mean to climb on the dead head. Jeez, I just wanted to, just wanted to expect the note. Oh, Jesus. This 
so sick, Tran. <sighs> oh man. Six thirty-four thirty-two. Oh, to open a lock, huh? Interesting. Ah, yeah. So, can you find me? Well, let's go ahead and see if we can, shall we? So we got the piece together map. Let's see if we can actually open this bad boy meow. There we go. So we got to cross a bridge, go through the woods, and we're going to find a derelict building that we can sneak inside, huh? Use the map to locate the killer's hiding place. Yeah. Well, let's go murder us a serial killer, huh? Well, this is something I've never really noticed before. Uh, I set a marker next to Lunky's cabin, which is where we need to go. And I slept until night, and then there's a lot of X's here on the map, which I've never seen there before. I find that yeah. kind of interesting. We're going to go ahead and check out this guy's house now that it's nighttime. Although I kind of want to just... Is this where that was? No, no, no. I'm going the wrong way. I'm losing my mind, but... I must have just drawn that on the map. I'm not exactly sure what all those X's are. Watch it be like all ghosts or something. Interesting. Anyways, well, we got to go over to Lucky's cabin. Which somehow we got all sorts of turned around. We got to get over there. And to do that, we need to take this bridge, which is just over yonder. Of course, we're doing this at night, the most difficult time to try and do this. Stupid deer, I hope you fall off the cliff. That was mean and unnecessary, most likely. All right, maybe we should turn off the lantern now. <laughs> it is a serial killer, after all. We should probably be as sneaky as humanly possible. As we ride in with our loud horse. It is very dark here. There we go. Open the basement doors. Can we do this with a gun out? There we go. That seems better. Come on, baby. Is anybody going to sneak up behind us? Oh, no. Oh, great. Explore the basement. This has never gone bad before. Can we capture this dude? Oh, it's terrible in here. Oh my god, how many people has this guy killed? And why does he love gutting them so much? Just save some pieces? Oh man, is there anything in here we can take? Maybe like some skulls or something? As creepy as that sounds. I'm gonna get spooked by my own shadow. Oh, there's some stuff on the table there. Hello? Creepy serial killer person? Eliza Bloom, huh? Oh shit. Inspect the letter. There's definitely somebody in here. I should not be inspecting the letter first. Dear Mr. Editor, I must say I'm alarmed by the paucity of coverage your August journal has decided to, dedicated to the recent killings in the region. I can read. The perpetrator of these crimes is clearly a man of great intelligence, power, and no small amount of cunning. He represents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication. You must... You... Yeah. You most probably to the writers... What?! And most probably to the writers. Dear Mr. Editor, I must say I am alarmed by the paucity of coverage your August journal has dedicated to the recent killings in the region. The perpetrator of these crimes is clearly a man of great intelligence, power, and no small amount of cunning. He presents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication, and most probably to the writers of it as well. I would suggest you begin to treat him as and his creations with the reverence that they deserve. God help us alls. God help us alls. <laughs> Yours, concerned citizen. I can read, I promise. Oh, so we got another letter here. Can we take this? 
I don't want the bur- I, Well, I do want the bourbon, but I'm full on bourbon, so I would much rather have the letter. There we go. My dear Edmund, what has gotten into you of late? Our dinners together, which were once such a pleasure to me, have become a terrible strain. You appear at times tired, distracted, febrile, and agitated, and sometimes all those things at once. It was of a snake for you to have ever moved out of home. While I approved of your decision to forego marriage in order to spend more time with me, I did not envisage envisage. <laughs> it would be this kind of company. Maybe a wife is what you need after all. Your kindly neighbor has informed me of your comings and goings from your rooms at all hours of the night. Does this mean there's a c close friendship your mother does not know about? I hope your taste and companionship has improved these past years. But I shall keep an open mind. I should like an explanation of all of this from you presently. Your loving and concerned mother. P.S. I hope you're eating and sleeping and taking the laudamin Dr. Finkels gave you. That should improve your nerves somewhat. Great. Super duper great. He's going to be behind me when I... Okay, thank God. Right. Anything over here? I think we got... There's cigarettes. We need to smoke one of our premium cigarettes. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Sweet baby Jesus. I just heard something. It's like a creaking. Inspect the knife. Oh, uh. shit. <gasps> Holy <laughs> shit, Biscuits. Have you come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Oh, now. my God. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. Oh, we just chucked a head at him. Get down. Oh, oh. oh. Talking now. Gotcha. Give me my hat back. I'll tie the stranger. All right. Jeez. That's why you don't leave decapitated heads lying around, ladies and gentlemen. At least if you're a serial killer. Because somebody someday is going to pimp slap you with it. Now that it's super dark in here. Turn the stranger in at the sheriff's office. Let's do this. I need to test and see if we can turn in the vampire at the sheriff's office. It doesn't really give us an option to if we capture him. But I am genuinely curious to see if it is, in fact, possible. Oh, 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 yep. oh. No. We need to put the stranger danger on there. Literal stranger danger this time. Take this. Some... I want to see this man hang. Oh, that'd be so exciting. For all the bounty hunters that you get, if you come back at certain times to the areas where you turn them in, you can actually see them get hung pretty intense some of the villagers are strangely excited by it which is even weirder maybe this will win us some brownie points at valentine also known as deathberry 2.0 grab this stranger danger here now for those of you that did the mission with micah and strawberry know why it's called deathberry it's like really early in the game so most of you have probably done that. Found that fella you were looking for. Which fella? I'm not giving you a cell. Drop the stranger you close to the sheriff's desk. Now put him down there. Why? Why? Did they stop watering the drinks down. Fella been been 
Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, well, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Whoa! Is he playing eat him? Get him off me! <laughs> oh. Uh. Is he dead? Why is he still making noise? We just shaved the- we just saved the oh, sheriff. You. you should never put a bounty on us ever thank again. You. I'll shoot you in the My face. Lord. What a monster. Yeah. Well, like I said, I wanted to see him hanged. To his cabin. Uh, I think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Here. Here. Ooh. Here's some money for your trouble. How Thanks, much money sir. is this? What a mess! 20 bucks! American dreams complete. Well, I guess we had fun and we made some money, so really doesn't get much better than that. I think we need to head on down to the saloon, have ourselves a drink, and celebrate our victory. Hello, everybody! I just caught a serial killer. You all are safe and you owe me a drink. Now, sometimes I feel like I'm repeating myself like you oh we're gonna fight again anyways thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought in the comments below if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content feel free to subscribe for more i don't want to talk to that guy i want a drink there we go i hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for your support i will see you all in the next one